Ladies and gentlemen, stay at home and play more games like Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Now this isn't a series I've ever really talked much about, but this is a game that I very much enjoy, even if I am pretty bad at it. What is it? It is a turn-based strategy game where you roam over the map and defeat other opponents and there are various quests and things. But right here, as you can see, this is the overworld. Here is my one hero who runs around the map. Um, if I click on him, you can move him. Ugh, come here. You can move around the map. And the way this game works is you have a main base, which is this one. This is my main base here. And within said main base, you can build buildings. When you build buildings, a few different things happen. You've got your ma uh, spell tower, essentially. You've got... Here's, here's the place where you can build stuff. And every faction has some slight differences. So every fra faction has different creatures. And every faction will have some certain buildings that benefit them specifically. So I'm playing a stronghold. And in, strong, uh, in the stronghold building, you get... Where's my castle? These are the creatures you can build. And you can upgrade each one of these creatures to be a better version of themselves. Um, and each of these things has different abilities or different things like... Wolf Riders have a pretty good movement speed. Ogre Magi can cast... I can't think what the spell's called on their own units. Oh, dudes, you always have two ranged guys. And in this case, it's me Orc Chieftains and me Cyclopses who I haven't yet built. Um, but yeah, you, you recruit troops and you go around the map and you do... Do things. I need 20 of those, which I do not have. So, I also have this other base which I've captured, and this is a uh, rampart base. This is where elves and things live. And because I now have this other base, I am going to upgrade this building here. I want to be able to make this base into primarily a place that gives me extra money and things. But, so, we have the map. There are plenty of things on the map. There are all these different buildings you can visit. There are ore pits, uh, wood chopping places, lots of places that will give you resources, lots of places to like learn spells, recruit troops, gain map information. Like how I'll go over and this, there's some titans there actually. This is why I haven't gone over here because titans are one of the level, the premier level units. Uh, sorry, the giants, not titans. Titans is the upgraded version, but they're like the premier like units. So yeah, let's let's play a bit of the game. Ooh peasants. Now, my hero is quite leveled up, um, so I can essentially get people to run away or join me. I'm actually going to fight these peasants so we get a bit of a battle. And this is the battle scene. And this varies depending on where, you, where you're on the land, uh, if you're fighting a castle, that kind of stuff. And here we have all my troops on the left, the enemy's troops will always be on the right, and here's my spells, which I currently have 73 spell points, which is pretty crazy. Let's have a look. Ooh. But I don't think I need these because it's just peasants. Peasants are really easy to kill. So now I have all these troops. You see, I've got some fire elementals. For some reason, I got these quite early on. They're actually pretty good, but I'll be getting rid of them fairly soon. Um, but this is current my current lineup. So I'm going to wait. Now, when you wait, you mean you can wait your turn and wait for the enemy movements to move uh, units to move. Every unit has a movement speed, I believe, and it, that kind of determines when they move in the order. Let's keep waiting. Wait, 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 wait. Right now they're now they're in range a bit more. So me ogre dude just cast bloodlust. That's the one. I can't remember what that spell does. Now we've got ranged. The little broken arrow means that you're not uh, when it's a full arrow. You're in. You do maximum damage. I think when it's a broken arrow, it's over half damage or it's less damage anyway. It's not the full amount. Ooh. <laughs> The peasants, by the way, are like the weakest thing in this game. They're bloody awful. More wood. Dwarf cottage. I don't really want dwarfs on this dude. Silver pegasus. Yes. No. Well, we'll fight them because it's fun. <coughs> Let's shop more to come back. I'd like to find an enemy hero. By the way, this is a game that I've been, been playing. This isn't fresh from the start, so... Also... The doggies! I'm just going to let the music play a little minute, uh, a bit, because I love the battle music in this game. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's so good. Take that. I lost the fire elemental because of you. Ooh. Black, the black... Ooh. What can we trade for? Just all combat speed units. So this is the other thing. I need to show off like the heroes themselves that get levels up and things that help uh, make them better in battle. Uh, recover two extra spell points. I don't think I need that. Uh, it means destroy and dead. I don't need that. Defe left handed. This increases your defense skill by four. Holy Christ. Increases your power skill by two. Increases your knowledge skill by four. That's pretty good. Necklace increases your hero's movement rate of C. So, like, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh. Uh. Thanks. It. Um, my hero. Here we go. So this is what my hero is currently up. He's got an attack of nine. This is what gets added to your troops' attack. Got your defense, which is pretty obvious. Your power, which is the spell strength and duration. And knowledge, which is like spell points. So my knowledge isn't that great in comparison to my power, but and these are the thing you can learn a lot of different. Um, I guess you'd call them abilities. Um, so I've gone for Wisdom, which allows you to learn 5th level spells, uh, Logistics, <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, which allows for movement, which is really useful, Pathfinding lets you go through, uh, reduces the penalty of rough terrain, Diplomacy is what allows me to get to troops to either want to, I can pay to get them in my army, or they can, they just won't fight me, Archery increases the range of the units with range. Intelligence is here isn't doubles your spell points and then advanced defense, which is more hand to hand stuff. And then here we have my amulets and things, which is quite nice. Uh it gives power by three. My left hand, if I get that shield, that'd be pretty good. I got boots of speed as well, I say. So all in all, pretty bloody good. So as you can see, like hopefully this game's starting to make a bit more sense with this. Bayamoth Crag. <sighs> Do I want to fight Bayamoths? You know what? Sod it. Bayamoths is what I get. This is going to be interesting. Oh, there's only three of them. Okay. So Bayamoths are a bit of a bitch. So. That did a lot of damage. I was not expecting it to do that much damage. Oh, here he comes. Blah, 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 blah. Um. Ooh, I cast it twice. I can. Uh, I have an arrow to the face over here. Okay, that was definitely easier than I was expecting. Yes, I would like some bear moths. Ah, oh, damn it. Basically, I don't have enough room in the army, but that's alright. That's good to know that's there. Water elementals. Right, now you can collect these chests. Now these chests are... Uh, Good for money and also good for experience. A lot of the time, you want to try and probably get the experience early game to level your hero up. So now I can choose between expert offense, which uh, increases by 30%, which is useful. I definitely want that. Ooh, who's this? All right, now we're gonna get a real fight. Awesome. So this is an opposing player whose army's not looking that great. Hmm. Harpies can fly a long way. Right. What do I think is worth the beholders and we got? Just on that. Ooh. Okay, we want to defend these boys. So you try you a lot of the time you want to protect your range stuff simply because they can do so much more damage. oh they can do so much more damage. Ow, you dickhead. Uh, before you, the enemy troops get to you, basically, so we definitely want to blow them down. Now, I don't know what I really should be targeting. Troglodytes are one of the weaker units, so I'm not too worried about them. Beholders and these things are kind of annoying. Uh, right. Um, uh, that's a good question. What do I want to attack? Harpies? I don't think you can retaliate against them. Let's get rid of the troglodytes. Ooh, yeah. Cool. That was probably... Middle dudes! Middle of goblins! Oh, that's what harpies can do. They're annoying. Um, let's... 
casts a spell. Uh, you. Cool. Right. Uh, we need to kill some things off. So, do that. And then we're going to do little on little. Bash him, lads. Oh no, me old goblins. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. Probably should have taken these manacles a bit more seriously, but hey, let's... You know what? I don't actually know how much damage these things do, so let's twat them with the ammo. Nice. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, my dogs. Rocks, by the way, are my best unit cur that I currently have. Um... Oh, we got luck. Take that. Oh, you got luck again. <laughs> Incredible. Now uh, we've got lightning bolt. Yay! 96 of those I lost. God damn it. Ooh. Thanks for the boat. What was that bow thing? Increases your archery skill by 15%. Oh my god. Nice. Awesome. Right. What do I need for this? Gems. So hopefully you're kind of getting a feel for like what the game's like. I need a hero in there actually. Uh, where's the tavern? Nope. No. Oh, this is a uh, thing it tells you about. Number of towns? How have I got three? Oh wait, no, that's wrong. That's the different colours in it. This tells you information about stuff as well, which is good. I want the heroes more inclined than them, but so I think it's fine. But yeah, so so far you've seen basically what most of the game has to offer. Like this is just you can see this is quite a big map. It's a four-player map. Um, ideally, you definitely want more than one hero running around the map. The nice thing about this area is that if I get another hero from here, which I do have, I've got this guy hiding in here. He's actually got a bunch of troops for me, so I should probably. Bring him out. He's just been sat there defending. Uh, run, my friend. I need to level this dude up. In my turn. Uh, but yeah, so you basically you've seen primarily what the game's about. It's like I said, it's turn-based. You're running around, fighting uh, random troops on the map. You're discovering things, learning spells, gaining resources, um, taking other towns basically to get rid of the enemy. I'll come back to these dudes in a second. I want some of these troops that my friend has got. Now, this hero, by the way, has got the boost of speed, which means I can get places, like, super quickly. As I run for it. You can also adjust the speed of what they move and stuff, but I quite like it when it's not too fast. <laughs> Alright, give me them. Run, my friend. Where is he? Aha! I think I'm going to give him the fire on his back, perhaps. Oh, definitely one of these. And the little old goblins that are going to do absolutely nothing. There we go. And then we'll split these. Dee dee. Rock. Yeah, tell you what, you have the fire elementals, I'll have the rocks. We just start getting some bear moths as well. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is pretty much it, man. Like, this is what makes this game so much fun. Um, obviously, I've you've only seen two different um, factions. You've got Haven, which is my favourite, which is like archers and spearmen and knights and angels and stuff. You've got Inferno, which is a lot of fun, which is like all demon-based. You've got, um, this is the elf one. I can show you what's in here. Uh, you get like wood elves, tree ants, or... Dendroids, as they get called there. Unicorns, Pegasi, Dwarfs, and then Green Dragons. You've got Undead as well, which is like Skeleton Zombies, Undead uh, Bone Dragons. Like, there's a bunch of different um, things you can play, and they're all just a lot of fun. Like, they're really cool. Dwarfs, if I remember right, have a lot of high, have a pretty high defense, don't they? Yeah. Um, but, like, it's really... It's, it, it, the reason this game is so fun, and this why this game is so beloved of the series, is because it has a formula that works really well. It also still looks pretty nice. The soundtrack's fantastic. The game looks good. We can take on those giants. Um, 
yeah, it's just a game that's just... To me, it's just a lot of fun. I've missed this. A throng. And this is why I, I, I really, 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 really like this game. And oh, I'm not great at it. But I do enjoy it, so hopefully this just gives you guys a good look at it. And right now, this is a, you can get this on GOG pretty cheap. You can get the entire, pretty much all the Heroes of Might and Magic games on GOG. Uh, or good old games, if you don't know about it shorthand. Um, I believe some of these might be on Steam as well. There is an HD version of this, like a remaster, but I don't think they really did much to it. So I just recommend getting the original. This is the complete version. This comes with both, I think there's two expansions. Um, if not, it's just one, but basically it comes with a bunch of, there's a big old story campaign, there's some cutscenes, um, it's a fantastic multiplayer game as well, playing with other people, and it's just, it's just a game, it's one of those games you can just spend a lot of time in, um, which makes it super good. Uh, alright, I want you to go over here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, fuck it, just end the turn. Right. Why can I not count? I can. Um, oh, there's a crack in the bloody floor there. God damn it. There is a lot to like about this game. There's a lot of... Ooh. Okay, this, this might actually be a hard fight. If I remember rightly, and I could be misremembering this, I'm sure unicorns take your spell points. You know, I reckon I can kill them with these. Oh, I think he just blinded me. Damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were definitely not going to go and face them. Uh, we should fire at these dudes. Nice. Uh, defend. You can also defend. Um see if I can kill it with these. Go on, have them. Have at they. Uh, Lightning Bolt is just kind of my go-to spell as well. It's usually the best, one of the best. No, they're dead. <laughs> Twat with the armor. Oh, they're flying to me as well. No, not the orcs. No. Bad horse. Hmm. Lost more than I wanted to there, but hey, what are you going to do? But yeah, hopefully this has shown off pretty much what the game's about. This is a great game to play while you're still at home, stuck indoors. This is a great game to play at any point. If you've got friends, you can play Hot Seat on this as well, which is really, really cool. But uh, that's going to do it for me today then, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more content, then hit the subscribe button down there. Links for Facebook and Twitter as well. And until next time, I'm going to keep uh, exploring this map, and I will see you then.